Welcome, 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 Popper fans. I am Brent Cook, and today we are playing Quad Laser, which means everything is a four of Cycle Storm that is also Rakdos based and a turbo strategy. A lot of adjectives there, but that's what we're doing here today. And the idea is well, when we look at my standard Demir list, we've carefully crafted this plan behind Tularian Winds, Boys with Street Wraiths, Mystical Teachings, and Repository Scobs. Well, right now I feel like the format's actually very fast. So I came up with this idea that I kind of just wanted to explore here today. And Faithless Looting is a card that in theory makes a lot of sense in our deck. We're a graveyard strategy where we're trying to convert cards into the graveyard for a card advantage. But also create some filtering much like a Chalarian Winds would for our lands. So Faithless Looting helps us be a faster deck. And that's really what we're interested in at the moment. So why not try it out instead of blue? So when you're playing red, obviously you get Faithless Looting, but Dranid Stinger is your win condition in red already, which means that a card like Rite of Flame means that you don't need anything like Blood Celebrant anymore. So we're not playing Blood Celebrant because late in the game, you can just Rite of Flame for five red, play four Dranid Stingers and win the game. It's going to be great. All right. So that seems like it makes a lot of sense and i actually tried something like this over a year ago at this point but the list back then didn't have any lotus petals in it and also only had invasion uh, sacrifice lands so it's pretty different than what we played in the past um and we're really just looking to be a more linear deck instead of having all these cutesy cards and plants we're just looking to get our opponent dead and that's sort of the idea here. But when you're red, you obviously get looting, like I mentioned. You get Rite of Flame over Cabal Ritual. And because you're a deck that draws most of your deck every game, Rite of Flame actually ends up being better on rate, and you don't have to worry about Cabal Ritual Threshold anymore, which is pretty huge in my opinion. Uh, and then you get Monstrous Carabid, which seems like it doesn't matter, but this is so much better than Architects of Will, because when it comes to the beatdown plan, I've actually attacked and won with Monstrous Carabids in the past, where you can never realistically do that with Architects of Will. So we do get an upgrade in our Cycler as well. But in the sideboard, we get four copies of Pyroblast and four Ingot Chewer off of our primary lands, which is just huge! On top of, you know, the additional Flaring Pain, whatever, it's fine. But... This deck's just a lot more straightforward, in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with the Demir list. I actually really like this. This is what I played in my last uh, like league that I played. I mean, the Exhumes weren't in any of the videos I shared, but they were something I was testing. And today, we're just playing more straightforward lists. We have Ingot Chewers as a creature to keep our count high for Reaping the Graves and Songs, but also to answer Relics and Nile Spell Bombs, everything else. Pyroblast is just the best card against Blue. We have our beatdown plan with Writhing Necromass. I've really, really liked Suffocating Fumes recently because the format's just so 1-1 one, one based. I don't know if you should board it in against Mono Red, but they have a lot of 1-1s. One, I definitely like it against Cog Gate. Uh, Mono Blue Fairies, it's very good. Elves. Suffocating Fumes is just a really good card at the moment. So we are playing that. Um, but yeah, I mean, at its core, this is... A very straightforward build of the deck you do not have a repository scob uh and i do realize that but i also don't think you necessarily need it the one thing that i've noticed playing this demir build and i've gone down to one scob is when you have something like tolerian winds to convert this card becomes not needed well when you have run your rakdos you don't have a huge tolerian winds but you have a number of faithless lootings and i'm interested to see how that converts today so uh, i've said convert a whole lot i'm sorry but I really am interested in seeing if we actually need the repository scob in a list like this. There is one drawback to being Rakdos other than, and I mean, it's not really a Rakdos thing. It's this current list. So I, when I played Rite of Flame in the past, one thing I noticed was when you're casting your dark rituals and etc., trying to make mana for Songs of the Damned, when you cycle into a Rite of Flame, it's a sorcery. So you cannot cast this in the middle of a cycle chain to keep it going you have to clear the chain untap or well you don't untap but you clear the chain cast right of flame make more mana and continue cycling so it's not an instant but i think making more red mana is a pretty huge deal to not needing a dead card in your deck like blood celebrant um and i've really been down on cabal ritual recently and it's like i've even thought about going down to two in this list it's just really expensive getting to cabal ritual threshold in an aggressive metagame has been a challenge so 
I am interested in trying this out today. Uh, I've said that like three times already. I'm so repetitive in this intro, but I'm just going to hop on in and start playing some magic. I hope you enjoyed this Rakdos Turbo Quad Laser Cycle Storm Adjective video. See you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match on Cycle Storm. We've opened up a terrific hand we will keep. We do have to take a turn off in order to cycle our Ash Barons, but that's just fine. One thing that I forgot to mention in the deck tech is we're actually playing 12 lands today and not 11. So by cutting the Blood Celebrant, we were able to add in that extra land for a little bit of extra consistency. Our opponent plays a... Uh, Craig here, we will play out the Ash Barons and just cycle. I mean, most people know that I'm on Cycle Storm. You should wait till the end step, but I'm not going to. Pass the turn. They also have an Ash Barons. How crazy. Squadron Hawk. Hawk it up. Okay, they have seven in hand. Play the Swamp past the turn. We could be looking at a turn three here. They cycle Ash Barons. They play the planes that they get off it into another hawk. Ouch. I'm at 19 life on their end step. We will cycle the imposing Vantasaur. Cycle the Dranith Stinger. Into another Rite of Flame. Things are looking pretty good. All right. We will cycle this Street Wraith. I'm liking where this is going. Dark Ritual. Play the Mountain. Rite of Flame. Rite of Flame. We'll cycle the healer. So I could play Stinger here. I'm not going to though. Let's cycle it. Cycle the monstrous carabid. We'll use a black. Cycle the imposing Vantasaur. I guess we can use a red. Cycle the horror. Songs. All right. So this is going to be a reaping the graves for five. Definitely returning the stingers. Street wraith. Horror. And Vantasaur. I think I'm going to return everything here because I don't plan on cat. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Go to 15 cycle. I don't plan on casting these stingers. I guess I could have cycled with them on the stack. A lot of lands here. Okay, cycle another horror. I believe we fizzled. So many lands. Cycle the stinger. Cycle Stinger, I guess. Pass. I mean, we're not dead. It's worth noting. Even though we fizzled, this, there's still a lot of game left. Battle Screech, and then they can flash it back. So if they have a Rally in hand, they're actually representing lethal next turn. Ouch, I'll go to 14. Draw for turn. That is a Songs of the Damned. I'm going to cast Looting to start. Discard Swamp and Ash Barons. Play the Mountain. Write a Flame. Songs. And then we'll cycle. A couple more Lootings. Reaping the Graves. That increases Storm Count. Let's cast the Looting. Discard the Pair of Lands. Cycle Vantasaur. We have two Songs of the Damned left in our deck. They're at 21. I can play Stinger. That would be Storm 6. I could return two Stingers. This should do it. I think. Hold on. So that'd be 5 mana. So you go down to 7. Does that do it? I guess the looting. Discard the two creatures. Dark Ritual. Alright, so this is for 7. Return the Stingers. Street Wraith. So one thing to note is when you're on a build like this, you don't have infinite mana. So when you can play them out, you're more enticed to play out your creatures and start cycling for lethal. So that's what I'm going to do here. But I feel like I don't have a whole lot of mana. Go to 12 and cycle the Street Wraith. That was decent. If we can find another Songs of the Damned. 
cycle at all. So if I play another Stinger, that's only six damage. Um, so I don't think I'm actually supposed to play this out. Let's cycle, trying to find another ritual. Okay, come on, Songs of the Dam. We have two of them left. Cycle the Stinger. Come on, Songs. Draw. There we go. Okay, so looks like we're going to win game number one here. By the skin of my teeth. Clicking to return all of my creatures. They're all coming home. We can play out another copy of Stinger. And then just keep cycling. Do, 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 do. Cycle. And that's lethal. We've won game number one over Boros. So I'm definitely interested in layering pain against the deck that has prismatic strands. I'm somewhat interested in suffocating fumes. I think that's actually a pretty good card based on what we saw in game one. But I also want Ingot Sure. So when you break it down, this is seven cards coming in, which is just a lot. Uh, you sort of have to pick and choose how we're going to manage all this stuff. I think going into the post board games, I'm willing to shave a couple of Faithless Lootings. Yes, it does make things a little bit more difficult, but I don't want to be as graveyard based going into those post board games. So I'm going to get rid of one of those or a couple of those. But there are still five slots that need to come out. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to try Chew Chewer to start. And then brought out a couple copies of Carabid and Evantasaur. Hmm. This is tough. All right, I'm just going to board out all of the Carabids and do three ingot chewers. Let's try this out. Sure, we'll keep. The question is, do you use Lotus Petal on the first turn to filter your land color? And I think the answer is probably yes, assuming that I don't draw land here. I drew another Ash Barons. Perfect. Pass. Mountain. Into the Hawk. So one nice thing about this list as well is this is really the only version of the deck that you can consistently play out Stingers and avoid using the Graveyard. So if your opponent like mulligans to four and opens up on a Relic, you can just play a Stinger, start attacking, and start pinging. On their end step, we'll cycle the Ash Barons. I'm going to grab a Mountain this time. You discard Journey to Nowhere. I'll pass. They play Faithless Looting. Guardian of the Guild Pact and a land. Okay. Another Hawk. They're getting in. Ouch. On their end step, we will cycle a Stinger. Good draw with the Street Wraith and cycle another Stinger. We draw Lotus Petal, untap, take a draw. We hit our land, so I'm just going to pass. And by passing, I'm not playing my cards into possible graveyard hate. Another planes. Some wild looking lands, by the way. Like this planes looks like it could be out of the movie Metropolis next to like this like Japanese mountain. It's kind of wild. Battle Screech. They've just got nothing. Uh, Cycle of Antisaur. Cycle Street Wraith. Okay, uh, so I could Ritual Reaping the Graves here. It would only be for three, so I think we should just untap and draw. Guess I'll cycle the Horror before I make a decision. Okay. Play out Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. I'm going to sit on this Faithless Looting. I don't really think I need to play it, and I can use it later to filter some lands. Dark Ritual. Play Songs. Reaping the Graves for five. Cycle Street Wraith. Cycle Horror. And these are the spots where I was talking about in the deck tech where if you draw into a Rite of Flame, you cannot cast Rite of Flame with Reaping the Graves on the stack. So it can be a little bit awkward sometimes. Like, for example, right here, where if you're trying to clear, keep the chain going, digging for that uh, Songs of the Damned, sometimes it can be weird. That's all. Cycle the Horror. We're running out of uh, resources here. Cycle. Let's write a flame, I guess. Cycle. Faithless looting. I've already played my land, so we can get rid of Ingot Chewer Ash Barons. Go to 12. I think I'm supposed to keep trying. Write a flame. Dark Ritual. 
cycle. Cannot use that looting. So this is sort of a long shot play here. We have two draws at hitting a Songs of the Damned. Return Street Wraith, return Street Wraith, and then the rest. Cycle. I guess we get three shots. Because I have the red floating. Cycle. I returned a creature that needed black mana first instead. Whoops. Cycle. And that doesn't do it. Then again, a Cabal Ritual wouldn't have done it here either. Cycle this. Ah, uh, one more card deep. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. We're probably dead here if I had a guess. Discard the Ash Barons, Faithless Looting, and a couple of these creatures. Like, they probably have rallied the Ancestors to deal me lethal. Here it is. Or rally the Peasants, that's what it is. My bad. Okay, so we died. Humans was the next card. I mean, really, we just needed to find the songs. One more card. And I'm going to board out an Ingot Chewer. And I think I want the Carabid back. Let's try this. Yeah, good hand. These hands have been decent so far. It's just I fizzled in game two. Pass the turn. That's a turn one relic, and I do not have an Ingot Chewer. Take a draw. I will pass the turn. I feel like I might have missed my opportunity this round. Okay. We discard Prismatic Strands, which just made this a whole lot more difficult. Cycle the Ash Barons, we'll go get a basic Swamp. Really getting punished for that fizzling game two now. I could try to pivot into the Singer plan, but we saw that they left in Journey in game two. Yep. Now they're attacking for one. We'll fall to 19. Draw. Play Stinger. They have a Lightning Bolt. Ooh, Ash Barons. Okay. I like that. And there's the Journey. Damn. They play a Looting. This guards a Squadron Hawk and a Palace Sentinels. Draw for turn. Not an Ingot Chewer. Pass the turn. Seeker. And they're attacking. I think I'm going to take another draw here. Need some creatures. A flashback, Faithless Looting. Cards, Prismatic Strands, Battle Screech. They attack for four, I'll go to 11. I think I'm just going to take a draw here. I got the Lotus Petal Pass. I'm looking for a window to try to win. And last turn could have been one where we started something, but... I think it's unlikely that I die here from 11. It would have to be Rally plus Bolt. They play a Hawk. Battle Screech. I'll fall to 8 life. On their end step, Cycle Imposing Vantasaur. Sacrifice Lotus Petal will remove that to the Relic. Vantasaur draws. Okay. Cycle a Stinger. Cycle Stinger. And I'll cycle the Ash Barons. Pull out a mountain. Take a draw. Another Songs of the Damned. Okay, so let's cycle Street Wraith. This puts me to six. Dark Ritual. Cycle Horror of the Broken Lands. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Cycle Horror. Go to four. Cycle the Street Wraith. Actually, do I want to wait on that? I might. Let's try songs. So that resolved. Okay, I'm going to cycle Street Wreath. I know that I lost a mana doing this, but I think Storm Count's sort of a concern at the moment. And if I could possibly die to Lightning Bolt, if I cycle this. Cast Flaring Pain. This shuts off the Prismatic Strands. You don't have to cast it preemptively, but I'm trying to create Storm Count, so it sort of makes sense. Cast songs. Maybe we don't have a healer in the graveyard. All right. So this is going to be for five. And we're targeting a horror of the broken land. Do they respond with a relic? They shouldn't respond before we select. But if they select here, I actually get four reaping the graves. So this strands doesn't matter. All this does is create storm for me. This is actually good. I've already cast flaring pain. This is the wrong time to use relic. I would like everyone to remember this. 
Okay, so I am at Storm 6. Start at the top with Reaping. Okay, so everyone's going to come home here. We have two songs of the dam left in our deck. So we're allowing one Street Wraith to be exiled. And then we have four copies of Reaping the Grave still in the stack that we can use. So I will cycle a Horror of the Broken Lands. Cycle this. We need some mana here. A little bit late on the Ingature. Okay, keep cycling. Hello, Ingature number two. So this Drenith Healer will not keep me alive at this point. Even if I were to play it, I can only get a couple cycles out of it. So I should cycle the Stinger. I think I'm probably dead here. All right, I just checked the game log. I did play a Mountain for turn, which makes sense because we got it with Ash Barons on the run step. So I do not have a land drop, which means that I think I'm supposed to play towards Finding Songs. This Rite of Flame does not do it here. Cycle Street Wraith down to two life. And they have the bolt. Yep. They got me. Yeah, we were one card short in game two. I mean, we almost beat Relic here. Uh, unfortunately, it ended up not being the case, but this was still a pretty good match. I needed to find one of the Ingachewers much sooner. Yeah, a little bit awkward. Okay, 0 and 1. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Game number, or match number two, I'm sorry. On the play. Nope. This seems reasonable. We can bottom a Faithless Looting. Keep. All right, they've selected seven. I know they also went to six. My bad. My bad. Swamp and pass the turn. Cut out the red. Okay. We'll take one off this inner upkeep. We can go grid a mountain. Cycle this. Take a draw. I think I'm supposed to loot here. Discard the other looting and... Right a flame? Pass the turn. Kessig Flame Breather. Ouch. Take a draw. Cycle the Stinger, I guess. I'll pass the turn. We'll dare an Epicure. Sure thing. Chromatic Star. That's a Galvanic Blast for four. Pretty good. They have one in hand, four damage on the battlefield at the moment, so I'm going to seven. Likely not getting another turn. Is your last card a Fire Blast? A long pause there. And a pause here. I feel like it's probably Fire Blast. It would put me to one. Um, yeah, it would put me to one, I believe. It looks like they're going to pass being content with four damage. Cycle the Street Wraith. Another songs, but we need creatures at the moment. I'm still dead to Fire Blast here. And that is indeed what their last card was. I can't believe that that's what it was after the posturing for minutes. Crazy. All right, so we lost game number one to Cadalt the Red. In this matchup, I feel like it's really just about being fast and being able to beat Relic. So I do like bringing in some number of Ingot Chewer. I don't know if how many you want. The lists vary between two and three relics, so they do have a number of them. Um, could just board out Street Wraith. I'm going to try this, I think. It's not like Street Wraith is amazing in the matchup anyway. Game two. Sure. Play the mountain past the turn. You might be wondering why not cast Faithless Looting? You're better off cycling and getting a better idea of what you want to discard later, in my opinion, than just going all in on eluding early all right let's thin our deck we'll go grab a swamp play that swamp and pass Essig flame breather we'll take one down to 18. cycle the healer we find songs draw play the land cycle caravid cycle stinger and if we miss on the stinger we can always looting 
think that's the plan. Pass. They play a monastery Swiss beer into experimental synthesizer. Okay. Another synthesizer. Do you have the land? They play a land. They cast Kadolta Rebirth. Sure thing. They attack for 5, will fall to 11, and it is time to go. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands. We'll cycle Healer. Cycle Vantasaur. Cast a Faithless Looting. We did not hit. We need to discard these Dark Rituals. Songs of the Damned. Flashback Faithless Looting. Not looking good for the home team here. Have to discard Petal, which shuts me off from flashbang, flashing back this other looting. We're going to cycle Horror. We found a Lotus Petal, so I've lost this game. You might be thinking, Brian, you have flashback Faithless looting. You haven't lost. Well, if I want to cast this Faithless looting, I have to play out Lotus Petal. Sacrifice her for a red. Flash this back. The best card I can hit is Reaping the Graves, but then I have to discard the Songs of the Damned to keep it. So, unfortunately, it just didn't work out. Um, but I guess I will flash this back and see if there was a Reaping the Graves in the top half of our deck. There was. So, it was just too far down, unfortunately. And, uh, that's the ball game. So, it stinks, but we're 0 and 2. I don't know if that was a fault of the red list or not, but I'm going to keep on playing. I am interested to see how these games play out. It might just be that maybe Faithless Looting isn't actually what we want, and then I learned something anyway, and that's fine too. But three matches left. Hopefully I can win them. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we are on the play. Keep, 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 keep. Play Swamp past the turn. They play Basic Plains into Thraben Inspector. Cycle this Ash Barons. Grab our Mountain. You have inspected. Draw. Play a mountain and we will cycle on the opponent's end step. Alright, cycle the monstrous carabid. Healer. Take a draw. Things are looking pretty good at the moment. They draw off their clue. Wind scarred crag. Sure. Makeshift munitions. That's a spicy one. Sure thing, we fall the 18. Let's cycle. Okay, looking very good. I think it's safe to say it's party time. Okay. Dark Ritual. Cycle this monstrous Carabid. Right of Flame. Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal. Songs of the Damned. Cast this Songs of the Damned. And do I want to try the cycling trick? I think I do. So the goal here is that by the time that this Songs resolves, we want it to make more than 8 mana. Return these street rates. And then the other. Cycle. And again. Another Songs of the Damned. Keep cycling. Dark Ritual. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Granith Healer. Another healer. Another songs. We need a uh, another reaping the graves at this point. Cycle the horror of the broken lands. And this is our last uh draw that isn't faithless looting. So we'll cycle. So now the songs made an extra three mana, so we got a free dark ritual out of it. But we are lacking a payoff at the moment. So we're gonna faithless looting. Did not hit. Uh discard the pair of lands. Let's try another looting. No dice. Flashback Faithless Looting. Discard Lotus Petal. 
Dark Ritual. Cycle. Cycle again. Cycle for a mountain. I'm gonna cycle the thin here. Flashback Faithless looting. There we go. Alright, so now we can start to win the game. Mana's the choke point, not... We only need one reaping. Start at the top. We are now returning everything with the reaping the graves. We went pretty low into our deck there. The question that I have is, am I supposed to... This is my last Lotus Petal. So if I play out the Stinger, I have to win with exactly one Stinger. So I think what I'm supposed to do is just cycle looking for a Rite of Flame. Because then I can place two, two singers later. Keep going. Promise you there are three Rite of Flames still in the deck. Okay, another Reaping the Graves. So there's another Stinger. And Stinger number three. There's Rite of Flame. So now we'll cast Rite of Flame, which makes triple red. We can play three copies of Stranded Stinger and just easily win. And this is the benefit of the list right here. Is that Rite of Flame makes all the red you would need, so you don't need something like Blood Celebrant. Ping. Okay, keep cycling, and the opponent concedes. We've gotten game number one. Whew. So, I don't know if they're on the build that features Prismatic Strains. It's a pretty popular card right now, so I'm guessing yes. And then we want some number of Ingature. I'm going to try just boarding out Carabids for these four. And I'm going to try only three copies of Ingature. This is a weird one. We have triple Reaping the Graves and two Cyclers that cycle for black. Even if this was a Swamp, I'd be hesitant to keep this. Let's go to six. Ay, ay, ay. Um, Blaring Paint on the bottom. Mountain into Relic. Yep. We have three Ingatures if we can find them. I could also just uh, turn one Horror of the Broken Lands, but I have nothing to back it up. So it seems a little bit risky. Land number two. They're on three cards. Am I bold enough? I'm kind of tempted here. Okay. Horror of the Broken Lands. I should have played out this pedal first to pretend that I have a Cycler. Although if they had Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, this would be dead anyway. Pass the turn. They use the relic. I'll exile Lotus Petal. Come on, duck. Not what I need. Get in there. Horror of the Beatdown. All right, right of flame down. Icker Wellspring. No white land yet. Draw for turn. Another horror. I'm a mana off from hard casting it. I think we just swing. By holding it in hand, I'm also protecting it from a Galvanic Blast. Seeker. Looks like they're passing. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry. My creature will be living. The horror dies, unfortunately. We draw another Reaping the Graves. Draw. Did not hit another Cycler. We have to pass. But all the rebirth, that's a lot of chump blockers. And they find a white land, too. We're in trouble. Draw. Aya. They block. Play Lotus Petal. Pass. They try to kill my horror. I will cycle an imposing Vantasaur. I'm gonna let this go. I could. Reaping the Graves here, but then it tells my opponent I don't have another creature to cycle to protect this horror, and I want to keep on selling the lie. Land. Seeker of the Way. They attack with one goblin, I go to 19. Draw for turn. Would it kill me to draw some creatures at some point? Come on, we're 25% of the way through the deck and I've seen, like, nothing. Three creatures. Pass the turn. For a Skyfisher, they can pick up the Synthesizer here. And that's what they do. And I believe that we, their opponent has turned the corner on this mulligan. And we've probably lost this. It's worth noting, when you have Horror in play, Faithless Looting ends up being very good. But we never drew Faithless Looting this game. Uh, in fact, like our draw has been kind of bad, but it happens. 
So they're getting in for four. We'll fall to 15 and they go up to 12. Draw for turn. Don't get angry. It's fine. There's still a game three. Pass. Another core sky fisher. Greed furnace was the reveal. Synthesizer resolves. They reveal a Thraben inspector. Another chump blocker on duty. Pretty sure I've lost this one. They have two in hand. I needed to draw more creatures sooner this game. Wow. I'm going to concede this one. This was a sad, sad showing. Okay, game three. I'm going to board in the fourth copy of Ingot Chewer and board out the fourth copy of Faithless Looting. Yes, I would like to be on the play. Beautiful. Keep. Play the mountain. Pass the turn. Ancient Den into Relic. We do have the Ingot Chewer. And now we need to hope that I'm smart enough to remember how Evoke works because I want the Chewer to be in the graveyard. Pretty sure I clicked the evoke trigger first. We did it. I hope you're proud. Seeker, we will cycle a imposing Vantasaur. Land three past the turn. So it's weird because I think there's a lot of aspects of this list that I like that aren't showing in this video. Um, I mean, we're running 24 creatures. Typically, my lists have 25 or 26, but the creatures missing are Repository Scab and, and Blood Celebrant. The Celebrant became a land. Scab became, I believe, looting four. So it's not like our lack of um, threat density is due to those things. But for some reason, this list does feel like it's a little bit short somewhere. Maybe it's bad variants. Maybe I'm misplaying tonight. I'm not sure. But having Ingot Chewer to cleanly answer Relic on one is a really big deal. Okay, cycle, cycle. And again. Take a draw. Let's see if we can find that Reaping the Graves. Go to 12. Cycle. Alright, so our next draw step will put us just over 33% of the way through our library. Uh, Galvanic Blast for four. That's full value. So I'm taking seven here down to five. I could easily be dead on their next turn. Yeah, that's scary. So now they need anything to trigger Prowess and I'm dead. Take a draw. Unfortunately, Ash Barons isn't going to do it. Might as well cycle the thin, but we are probably dead. So we saw 33% of our library, no payoff. That'll do. Okay, so we're at 0 and 3, unfortunately. Feels bad. Ugh. Okay, a couple more left. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Can we win out and get some play points back? We're on the play for match number four, no creatures, mulligan. Sure. I think I'm actually going to bottom the Lotus Petal here. I know that it's my Black Mana Source. I'm aware of that. But if I'm going to win this game, I'm probably going to need uh, to draw some cards anyway. So by keeping Double Red of Flame, I will be making more mana later. There's this tower. They're passing. So a lot of these Tron decks tend to play Crop Rotation, which concerns me because it's just a card that wrecks the Cycle Storm archetype. Okay, what do you have here? Picker Wellspring, we will cycle. And again, take a draw. Cycle the Stinger and Horror. Play this. Pass the turn. Next turn's likely the turn where I'm going to try to go for it. They play a map. All right, I'm going to cycle the Healer. We find Faithless Looting for a power plant. That's no surprise. We get another Reaping the Graves here. Okay. Um, guess we can loot. Discard both of these. Bright of Flame. Songs. Reaping. Firm is five. Cycle. 
Cycle the Monstrous Carabid. Or the Broken Lands. Cycle Stinger. Cycle the Imposing Vantasaur. Hello, Street Wraith. Keep cycling. Cycle. Play out the Ash Baron. Cycle the Healer. Right of Flame. Let's loot. Discard the Pair of Lotus Petals. Cycle of Vantasaur. Come on, Doc, please. We're all in on Faithless Looting hitting your Songs of the Damned. Womp womp. Okay, this has been bad. So, I am reminded why... I'm, like, after I lose this match, I'm probably not going to play a match five. Uh, this match sort of solidified to me the importance of blue. Uh, and they're on the Tron Storm deck, which takes roughly a million years to win once they get going. They play an Ashnod's Altar. Yep. Mirror Retriever. They return the map. They're going to play the map. Sure. Really? That's all you've got? Play Crystal Grotto. Another looting. I think we're supposed to flashback the looting. Discard, discard. Too bad we didn't that song's last turn when we had actual storm count. So this is going to be for storm four. This is my I have one lotus petal left after this. Return some street rates. 14, 12. Cycle down to 10. Another looting. Cycle. Okay. There's another song. So that's pretty good. Cycle. And again. 16 cards left in deck. Mountain. Flashback looting. Discard the pair of lands. Pretty sure I have to go now. And if I miss, I miss. Well, that's awkward. Okay. Here goes nothing. We hit the Reaping the Graves. So this is for eight. I don't even know if we can win. All four Rite of Flames are in the graveyard. So I would need, need to be able to win off just Lotus Petal Stinger. Kind of a tall ask, but I think if we pass, we're dead anyway. So might as well try. Okay, there's three Wraith number four. No Lotus Petal yet. It is in here, right? There's two, three. Go to two life. Cycle. And again. And again. Play some dark rituals. Cycle. My bottom card? I guess so. Okay. We're going to turn off auto yields. Play the stinger. We're going to cycle this stinger. With the draw on the stack, we'll cast Songs of the Damned. And now we return all of our creatures. Actually, even... Uh, I can't deal lethal. This is only for Storm 15. Maybe the opponent will concede. Yeah, the lack of repository scob has definitely been noticed. Uh, I'm not going to share it in this video, but recording this video did give me an idea that I'm looking forward to trying. Keep cycling. Yeah, they're not conceding. I mean, they shouldn't because I don't have the win, but damn. Going to be short on damage. Or short. Okay, F6, let all my draws happen. Tron Storm. They're a deck that plays weather, and this build actually struggles to beat weather because we don't have a repository scob, so... Uh, yeah, yikes. And we're just going to resubmit. Our deck should be set up. I have seen some graveyard hate in this deck, uh, but it's like usually a one of, and I don't think we want to dilute ourselves in order to beat a one of. Game number two. I think I'm going to try this. Maybe it's a bad idea. Okay, Lotus Petal. Cycle the Ash Barons. We're going to get a mountain. Cycle Vantasaur. We found our swamp, but now we need more creatures. Power plant into Chromatic Star. Okay, so we even drew a creature we can cycle off the swamp. I'm a fan of that. Another Chromatic Star. Cycle. Right of Flame. 
They play a crystal grotto and they scry to the bottom another chromatic star. Street Wraith is a decent draw. It's the third creature in our graveyard. Cycle this healer. I think I'm going to hang on to the Faithless looting. I want it for storm count. Deadly Dispute. Expedition map, sure. Cycle the Horror of the Broken Land. Four creatures? It's still not a lot. I guess I'll play the looting here. I buy a Rite of Flame and a Lotus Petal? Pass. They cast Crop Rotation. They grab a tower. They have eight mana. I could be dead here. There's the Golden Foundry. Picker Wellspring. Picker Wellspring. Mirror Retriever. Looks like uh, it's time for us to go. All right. Dark Ritual. Cast it. Cast this Dark Ritual. We ideally want to cycle into a Songs of the Damned here. Street Wraith. Cycle. There's our songs. Cycle. And again. Firm's only two. Let's loot. Discard the creatures. Play Lotus Petal. Songs. Okay. Return Street Wraiths. Stingers. I can't but wonder if I'm supposed to start playing a Stinger now. Just like you don't have the mana to go late with this deck. This could just be the wrong move, but I'm going to try it out. Okay, we were fortunate enough to draw a Songs of the Dam that should be the game. Cycle. Again. And again. And again. Dark Ritual. Let's play the Stinger. Songs and then Reaping the Graves. This will do it. We won a game! How about that? Cycle. And again. Almost there. Keep cycling. We cycle again. They go to two and then one more. So this is going to finish off the game. Definitely lagging a little bit here too. It's been bad the last couple days. And it's not my internet connection because I'm etherneted in and my internet is very good. So it's definitely magic online. Resubmit. Game three, good hand, keep. There's this tower in the map, strong start. Ray of Flame, play Swamp past the turn. There's his mind. So they're going to have turn three Tron. Cycle this healer. Take a draw. Cycle for a mountain, and I will pass. Ashnod's Altar. Mirror Retriever. Okay, cycle the Horror of the Broken Lands, which is creature number two in the graveyard. Another Reaping the Graves. Draw. Third Rite of Flame. How risky am I feeling here? Let's cast the first right. Looting? I don't think we need triple reaping. Would have really preferred to not draw Reaping the Graves number three there. Like, double creature would have been ideal. Okay. Three whole creatures in the graveyard. So the reason, like, you might be saying, Bryant, just pass the turn. You don't have to try for a turn three. Our opponent's set up to potentially win the game on turn four. I took a calculated risk here that the Faithless looting would hit a pair of creatures, and it didn't. So it, it stinks, but I'd rather take the slim chance that I have at winning the game than sitting here and dying. Return the Street Wraith. Okay. Cycle. Loot. Discard two lands. Cycle. I think you're supposed to just Reaping and pass. The downside is we only have one Reaping the Graves left in our deck now. This probably just isn't a winning game. Like, they get to start off next turn with 10 mana. They... Okay, so they played the Scryland. They didn't get another tower. They play a Finger and Marauder. I guess they actually... I mean, I'm probably not going to yield 35 damage to beat this anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to shame concede. I'm not going to beat the Marauder here. So we went 0 and 4. Uh, I'm going to just show you the deck list again. I really felt the loss of Repository Scob here. 
in mystical teachings to find reaping the graves this was a fun experiment i didn't feel like faithless looting was worthwhile this league did give me an idea though that i'm going to try out privately before i share it because it might be too off the wall but uh thank you for watching i know that this was actually kind of a rough one but it really does mean a lot that you watch and i know that a lot of people love cycle storm even though the videos don't do particularly well but it's my favorite popper deck it's probably my second favorite deck period Rog Sai and CDH is quickly moving up there, but it's definitely top two, maybe top three, who knows, whatever. Not really the point. Uh, I love Cycle Storm. This is definitely what I love about Magic, despite doing kind of poorly in this video. I don't care. It is kind of a tough time in the metagame right now with uh, the Demir Terror deck being as popular it is, as it is and all of the graveyard hate that people are playing to beat it. It's not the best time to be a combo deck and pauper because so many of the combo decks and pauper are graveyard based. So I talked about that recently. If you look at my list over here, almost all of them use the graveyard aside from like a dedicated weather deck, which might be worth exploring soon. Maybe that'll be the pauper deck I record next week. That's what I've got. I'm going to run now. Uh, really, thanks for watching. Take care. Keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.